hello everyone welcome to excel problem solving series so this is one of the question i have into this video and this was asked to me into one of the screening rounds for the interview so so prior to taking the interviews the companies they generally give a screening questions so that they can see if you are able to solve these kind of questions or not so i have into this video one of such questions and this is also very much interesting so you can see this data set here so i have the id column i have a column named as SQL, Python and Excel. Now you would be wondering like what is this? So I would just make you understand. This is a very simple data set. So into the column I have the ID. So you can just consider these to be IDs of the students who might have enrolled into uh, institute or uh, training center and into the column B, C, D there are different skill set such as the sql python and excel and see different abbreviations used into all these columns here r and t so what does r mean so r means registered for training so uh, wherever r is coming that means that student has registered for that particular training for example the student id one has registered for the sql training similarly student id number s2 has registered for the python training program and blank means neither of all so neither the student has registered for the training nor he has completed the training so you can also take into consideration t as the student or the participant has completed the training program for that particular skill set so let us see what is the problem saying we need to using the excel formula so we need to solve this problem using the excel formulas only so this is a common thing which we see during the screening process like even if the questions that can be solved using the pivot tables or any other methods the interviewers they generally tell us to solve the problems using the excel formulas so this is very much important so so there are three questions here which they have mentioned so i would just little bit zoom it here so the very first question is how many have neither registered or completed any of the three courses out of the students which are mentioned here or the student id which are mentioned here how many of them have neither registered or completed any of the three courses question number two is how many have registered or trained in at least two of the three courses and the question number three is how many have not been trained in any of the three yet so we'll be solving all these three questions using the excel functions which are available so let us proceed with solving the question number three for the very first so the question number three is how many have not been trained in any of the three yet so out of these three skill sets sql python and excel we need to get all the details of the students on how many have not been trained in any of the three yet so i will just rename this column as solution three and we'll be proceeding with this so let us see how to solve this particular problem so every row will be taken into account here for each of the student so the problem is saying how many have not been trained in any of the three yet so even if so I will be using the count if s function here or count if function here and we need to get the details of the students who have not been trained in any of the three courses so even if the student has been trained in one of the courses also will be not taking into that particular student into account because we need to get details of the students who have not been trained in any of the three so all of these three cells for a particular student let's say the student id is two which we are taking here all these three cells corresponding to that particular student it should not contain t here so we'll be taking into account this particular logic so let us proceed with this particular thing so we'll be using the count if function to count the number of students who have completed and the range i'll be selecting a row i'll be taking into account for a particular students and i'll be taking into account the training is completed so t means the training has been completed and i'll hit enter so you can see i'm getting one year because out of all these three skill set student number id one has completed only one of the training so i will drag this formula to the very last and let us see some more results here so you can see zero is coming here and this is because out of all these three skill set the student has not even completed a single training program similarly one is coming here because the student has completed out of all these three skill set he has completed the sql training program and likewise for all the other students you can see 
drag this formula to the very last so you can see two is coming here that means this particular student has completed two of the training programs so you can see t is coming two of the three times so we are getting this particular data here now what is the result which we want so we want to get the how many students have not been trained in any of the three subjects or the skill sets here into the column e the result which we have got so zero means the student has not completed any of the training program so can we count the number of zeros which are coming here and that would serve our purpose so let us do this so we'll be using the count function count if function here again and we'll be selecting the entire range and here the criteria should be zero because we want to count the number of students who have not been trained in any of the three subjects so i'll hit enter so you can see we are getting 29 and this means that 29 students out of all these students have not been trained in any of the three subjects so they have either registered themselves or the cell is either blank I've got the solution for the question number three so i would just paste it here I'll paste this as values so this is for solution number three we will be solving question number one and question number two into the next problem solving video so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't keep checking out the next video for this particular data set and meet you in the next video thank you so much bye